welcome back. Share and share alike tends to be a good rule of thumb for any marriage, but that doesn't necessarily extend to decor choices. Newlyweds Ryan Serhant of Million Dollar Listing New York fame and wife Amelia definitely had some different ideas on what they wanted their Soho loft to look like. Before we got married, we decided that we wanted to find our own apartment. And we were looking for a big, beautiful three bedroom penthouse in Soho. And we found this place, but it didn't look anything like this. And I realized that to make it our own, we couldn't do it by ourselves because my design sense is a bit all over, it but is. I knew what I liked. What'd you say? It is kind of a little bit all over the place. Listen, I'm good at a few things, not everything. But I like what I like. I like colors. I like pinks and purples and you like, navies and grays and white. Yeah, that's why we work so well together, because we mix. And so we called in celebrity interior designer Robin Barron, and she was able to bring our vision and our dream for our perfect Soho penthouse to life. My biggest challenge in designing this apartment for Ryan and Amelia was also the thing that made it the most fun for me, working with both of their styles and creating a new one together. Here we are in the kitchen. To keep this kitchen clean, simple, and modern, we decided to use marble, one type of marble, for the counters, the backsplash, and the feature wall. We even added a special touch of waterfalling the marble at the end of the cabinet. One of the best features of this penthouse is the open floor plan, how one space flows into the other. But there's an art in that. You have to create distinctive uses for each space with fabric, color and texture. Come on, let me show you what I mean. Take the window treatments, the curtains and the shades. They're neutral, but they have texture. There's a slight pattern and texture to each of them that adds dimension. We use two fabrics on these dining room chairs, and it's the perfect way to make the balance carry throughout the entire space. And oh, the color. You could see in this living room how it's mostly neutral, but the right pops of color changes everything. What I did here is I took the same fabric. I put the neutral whitish topish on the sofa. That's the biggest two pieces in the room. And then I took the same fabric in the purple and the hot pink and just made throw pillows. That alone created a whole different look. Well, Ryan is a big risk taker, and I wanted that to be reflected in his office. Even though this is a smaller size room, I wanted it to have a lot of impact. So I decided to use draperies that would go from floor to ceiling. And to keep your eye moving through the space, I used a geometric patterned fabric for the shade to go with the drapes. And I repeated the metallic theme on the ceiling with this silver tea paper. And I put it all together using this calf skin rug and added his favorite color purple to the chair across from his desk. It's not always easy combining styles with two people that have their own distinct taste, but it's one I'm up for and one that's necessary when you're combining two lives. You know, you never know where inspiration is going to hit. Always have an open eye and an open mind. And as I always say, confidence begins at home. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Robin Barron. <laughs>